Hey guys, it's Vlogmas Day 5. Um, I just woke up and I just made some breakfast. Uh, let me show you. Um, I just made some scrambled eggs and I'm gonna eat it with rice. And then I sprinkled um, some furikake over it because that stuff is addictive. And then, like usual, I got sweet tea. Uh, but yeah, it's really good actually, the scrambled eggs. And then I'm about to watch um, some Legend of Korra because there's a new episode and I'm really excited about it. Uh, I don't really have anything planned today again like exactly the good thing is I'm off so I should be doing something at least but I'm thinking of um, I thinking of taking bullet to the dog park even though it's kind of um, it's kind of gloomy outside but it should be fine uh, so we'll see how that goes but I'll keep you guys updated hey guys it's Michael so me and bullet if you can see him in the back over there um, <laughs> he's making noises we're going to the dog park um, so hopefully, I hope there's not a lot of dogs there, because, um, he, I mean, he gets along with other dogs, but, <laughs> like, one time, um, it just depends, I think it just really depends on who the dog is, because sometimes he'll just stare at them, like the other dog, he looks like he just, like, he just doesn't even want to be bothered <laughs> with, and other times, he just, they get, like, one time he went to the vet, and I don't know what was going on, but he just was Maybe because it was a new place and whatnot, but he was just not having it. He was really riled up. Uh, but this dog park that that's near my house, um, it's actually, like, really nice. Uh, they have, like, two separate um, parks, like, little sections. One is for, like, bigger dogs, and the other one is, like, for smaller dogs. I'm hoping it's open, because last time we went there, it was closed because of they were doing some sort of army graduation or ceremony or something. Hey, sit down. I need to buy one of those um, those dog uh, protector cover thingy. And then apparently there's like also something where it keeps them from jumping from the back seat to the front. But he's always been pretty good when he's in the back. He just literally stays there. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Oh, so Legend of Korra was really good. So just my luck. They're having another graduation here again. So I don't know if I should bring him out here. Because there's a lot of people here. And I just don't want him to. I don't want him to get nervous with all of these people here. I think I'll just probably walk him around the house. I mean, not the house, the neighborhood instead. Oh, man, this sucks. Oh. Yeah, I guess I'll just, well, we, we could probably still go. You know what? I think we'll go. I'll just try to avoid as many people as I can. I'll park in a secluded area. That should be fine. But yeah, it looks like the park, I don't, we'll see. Yeah, I'll, hopefully, yeah, we should, well, I'm parking kind of secluded, so I think you should be good. Hopefully you won't see other people, so, you ready to go, bullet? Huh? Okay, come on. Hey guys, so we're at the dog park and nobody's here like usual. So, yeah, bullet's really liking, I don't, all he does here is when whenever we come, all he does is literally just sniff the place the whole time, like, that's all. All the toys, like, you could bring him like tennis balls and whatnot he just won't get it he just sniffs the whole time yeah just look at him just sniffing the whole time it's really empty no one usually comes here around this time anyways Hey guys, uh, so we're coming back from the dog park. Um, it was actually really good. He was really well behaved. Okay, I don't know he's making noises back there. Uh, he was really well behaved, and there was another dog um, on the other side, uh, which was really cool. So yeah, um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do today. I think, you know what? 
I really want to go buy a book and the reason why I say this is because I haven't been reading for the past few days and it's just really weird of me not to and so I think buying a new book will you know ignite that but we'll see what happens hey guys so um, I'm going somewhere I don't know if I'm either a going to go to a coffee shop and go get some coffee or B, first go to Bed Bath & Beyond because I want to buy some like kitchen stuff. Uh, we need like a new cutting board, all kinds of kitcheny stuff. So I, I might go there first and then we'll see what happens. Because um, I think my friends wanted to go out, go and like go eat dinner or something like that. So we'll see what happens with that plan because sometimes when when we make plans, it just doesn't go through. So yeah. So I was just at the gas station, and oh my goodness, gas is cheaper than usual, and it's just amazing because I paid. I think it was, it was like maybe less than. It was definitely like ten dollars less than what I usually pay, which and I still got my full tank, so that's really good. Because the car that I'm driving, um, it's not the world's most efficient car it's pretty old actually and so it uses up a lot of gas so uh, there's that oh so me and my sister watched some more homeland uh last night oh oh my god episode three good gracious almighty it was really good because something happens just in the middle of it and it literally like I was so shocked I was so shocked because something a character something happened to a character and it it just oh. and that show is so good so I'm just leaving the mall now um, the mall has a, like a books a million but they have no coupon <laughs> so I'm going to Barnes & Noble at the strip mall because they have a coupon so I'm gonna use that one. Hopefully, I'll find a book that I like there. And plus, the bat, the Bed Bath and Beyond, um, is close by over there. So I'll check that out. I'll kill two birds with one stone. So I was just at um, Hollister, and I just tried on some of their like jeans because they had some jeans on sale. And I've realized now I don't. Now I know why I don't wear Hollister. It fits me really weird. Um, I think I'm too short. Yeah, because that shirt was extremely long and I was like, this is hitting at a weird spot and you, usually I need, you know, it makes me, I don't know, it looked weird on me. So, yeah, because I, the more I shop, like, um, throughout the years, I come to realize that I only fit certain brands. Like, certain brands, I just can't fit. It, it doesn't look good on me because I am skinny. Um, kind of like Aeropostale, uh, I can't fit their clothes because it always makes me look, it always hits me weird at the wrong spots, um, and I, I don't know, that, it, it's just really weird, but like some brands that, uh, that do fit me pretty well, uh, PacSun is really good at it, uh, especially that brand, um, on the bias. It always fits me correctly, which is uh, really nice. Oh, and Express really fits me nicely too. Um, that's one of the brands that fit me really nicely. Abercrombie, um, every once in a while, that that's that's pretty okay. Oh god, look at this traffic. Uh, so yeah, I'm about to get go to the other mall, and then uh, we'll see. So I forgot to tell you guys this, but at the um, Books a Million that I was in. Um, they always, always, the great thing about this bar, this um, Books A Million is that they always have great bargain books. So those books that, um, I forgot, oh god, it's, the name is escaping me, where they put the red, the remainder marks, where they put that mark at the bottom of the um, book, because uh, it's about like, it's either A, like going to, um, to like paperback or so the hardback goes on sale and when I say they have some good books in there for hardcover I mean they had some great books in there they had Life After Life there by Kate Atkinson oh, that book is really good you guys should check it out um, I, I'm sure it's probably 
I, you know what? I think it's one of my top books that I read this year. Um, consider because now since I'm towards the end of the the year, I can finally start to see which books um, are really, really my favorite. And it's obvious which one is number one because when I do my wrap up for November, I'll probably film. That'll probably be one of the Vlogmas videos where I'm literally not doing anything. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just literally staying at home. I'll film it then. Um, but I think I've read it. My number one book that I read this year. Um, I already know what it is. So that's going to be like really easy to to decide on what that is. Uh, but yeah, they had, they also had like great classics in this really nice edition. Um, the thing is though, some of the books that's on the bargain, either like I'm not interested in it or B, I already had it have it so yeah like I already have life after life and whatnot hey guys so I didn't buy any books um, from Barnes and Noble um, but instead I bought a lot of stuff from Bed Bath and Beyond and um, Pier One oh my god Woo! at um, Bed Bath and Beyond I finally found the carafe I've been looking for and it was on sale. It was amazing. I'm so happy. Because the carafe that I want is normally like $30, which is really expensive in my opinion for something I'm just going to put some juice in. But <laughs> I found one for $15 and it's exactly what I wanted. It was, I think it was like the like their final stock because there was only one left and I was so happy about that. Um, I guess I could do like a mini haul but um, I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. That's, I think, I, I mean, I love when, to be honest, I love it when vlogs, uh, when they do grocery hauls. I think those are just really f fun and like fascinating to watch because I'm, I'm seeing a lot of these like Vlogmas videos and in a lot of them, a lot of people are saying like, um, you know, my life is really boring. I didn't do that much, but in my opinion, like your boring stuff that they do, that's not that's not what I'm doing. So I find it really fascinating, um, cause like, even though like let's say someone's in LA and they're vlogging, um, they say they're not really doing anything but like walking down the street. But I think that's really interesting, cause you get to see like just a different um, city, a different vibe and whatnot. So I think those are really cool. I guess I'll do a a haul of what I got. Um, when I get home. So yeah, I'm about to go to Chipotle. Yay, Chipotle! Uh, with my friends, and then I'll see you guys there. So we're here at Chipotle, and I got me the... No, I got the carnitas. The carnitas? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not. Um, how do you pronounce it? Carnitas? Carnitas? Um, and it has like corn, shrimp. Shrimp? No, it doesn't have shrimp, sorry. Has corn, <laughs> lettuce, vegetables, sour cream, cheese, something else. I forgot, but it's good. Hey guys, it's Michael. And so before I say goodbye, I thought I'd do a quick um, haul of the stuff that I bought randomly. Um, after I went shopping after um, Chipotle, we went to Starbucks and just hanged out for a few hours actually. Uh, so yeah, here's the stuff that I bought um, from several places. I'm just gonna do this like very uh, informal wise, but at, um, I went to Bed Bath and Beyond, and I bought this. Uh, I finally bought a carafe that I really like because I always wanted one, and yeah, it's really really nice. Let me show you. And it was like really inexpensive, which is amazing. Um, yeah, look, oh, it's so pretty. I'm excited to use it. So I bought that. Hold on. Trying to do this with one hand is just harder than it looks. And I bet I still, I'm still, I bought several more things. I bought me like this liner for some um, mini muffins. And just like cutting boards. Cause you need just to like place it. And this is really cool. This is like a collapsible lunchbox thingy where it looks really thin, but it actually goes, um, like becomes almost like collapses. It's really cool. 
and then it has a spork inside and it has this little compartment right here where you can put condiments which is really cool because I'm going to use that uh, for work and then I bought some measuring spoons because measuring cups excuse me because we need these and then uh, let me see. well they're all wrapped up but I bought stuff at Pier 1 it's basically um, like uh, let me just show you I think they wrap it like if you ever go to Pier 1 all they do is wrap stuff but yeah so it's like um, it's just like a normal cup but this part right here it's actually like a chalkboard where you can actually write on it and it comes with chalk and everything so I thought that was really cool for that and I bought like a smaller glass of that and then I bought some serving dishes just for presentation purposes and this is what I really wanted to show you I finally bought the advent calendar from Starbucks so every day now from when I start doing these I'm gonna start um, pulling one out right quick so let me take out the box and I'll pull out one through five all right so here's the advent calendar for um, Starbucks so this should be really cool uh, so yeah let's start let me go through one through five because I bought this kind of late so here's number one. Oh, this is our magnet oh my god this is really cool oh wow that's really cool they're magnet okay anyways Okay, trying to do this with one hand, again, it's just going to be really, really difficult. So, let me go, let me get one through five and then I'll open them. Alright, so I got the stuff um, opened up, so let's look at them. They're basically all chocolate, which is <laughs> not a bad thing. Uh, but here's one right here, and then here's number uh, two right there, and number three. Wait, is this three? Yeah, this is three. And then here's four right there, and then there's uh, number five right here. Um, I'm probably going to eat them later on because I'm not in a chocolate mood right now. I mean, it's pretty late. Uh, so I'll see you guys for tomorrow for Vlogmas. And then until then, I'll, I'll open up number six and let you guys know how it tastes. Bye.